Blessed with natural beauty, but the center of a dark trade, Albania has over two decades built up a brutal industry with human beings the commodity. I hate them, and I want them to get the punishment that they deserve. Saya, now still a teenager, was just 14 when she was sold into a trafficking ring by a man she thought was her boyfriend. She was forced to sleep with several men a day and tells of a bewildering and terrifying world of abuse in which she could trust no one. We were terrified. They would beat us up and not let us go out. To be controlled by someone, to be used as I was, is totally degrading. <laughs> she lives here in a refuge for trafficked women in the south of the country. But these are school girls and some already have children of their own. All have escaped their traffickers. Saya helped put some of hers behind bars. Several convicted traffickers are held here in Korcha High Security Prison. Last year, 18 people were sentenced. Some here are serving 20 years or more. The Albanian authorities let us talk to one of them. Fatos Kaplani was sentenced to 15 years for trafficking children to Greece and forcing them to work as prostitutes or beggars. What made him, a married man with his own children, commit such a crime? It was the time that everyone was doing that kind of thing. You used a child in order to earn some money. Isn't what you did entirely wrong? It's terrible. What if that were my child and someone did that to them? He faced justice, but Albania has been criticized for a lack of prosecutions and there are concerns over police collusion. Some senior figures question whether trafficking is a real problem, but the official line is that there are systems to deal with it. It's not an increasing trend. It is a phenomenon that is kind of constant, but it has to be tackled properly and to make always all the structures working together. But Albania still tops the list of people trafficked into Britain. People duped into promises of a better life, like Anna. Don't it create any family? She is now in a safe house in the UK. Duped into leaving home and then sold into prostitution, she weeps throughout our interview but insists she wants to tell her story. I was somewhere underground. I had no sense of the world around me. They would not let me see. I entered the building blindfolded. And you were raped every day? Yes. Every day. Many men? Yes. Many. <laughs> Anna is now supported in this safe house run by the Salvation Army. She has a baby, which gives her a reason to carry on. Her story should trigger alarm in authorities here and across Europe. A broken life caused by a brutal crime.